Well-developed forms are essential if you want impressive looking arms, yet they are often overlooked by many in their bodybuilding program. They don't only enhance your appearance, but play a huge role in grip strength and translate to countless exercises. In today's video, I'll be discussing three techniques that when incorporated into your training routine will skyrocket your forearm growth. Welcome back to another video. I'm Brendan Martinez. I'm currently getting my doctorate in physical therapy. Now, before we jump into the three tips, let's do a quick anatomy review of the forms so we better understand how they're made up. Many people believe that the forms are only made up of a few muscles, however, it consists of a whopping 19. There are two groups. You have the flexor group, which is on the front side of your forearm with eight muscles, and the extensor group, which is on the back of the forearm and has 11 muscles. Our forearms not only help move the wrist and elbow, but play a main role in grip strength, and incorporating exercises that challenge your grip strength will directly work your forearms leading to more growth. And now that we better understand how our forms are made up, let's jump into the first tip, which is to utilize fat grips. Fat grips can be placed on any barbell, dumbbell, or kettlebell, and increases the diameter, which in turn will increase your grip strength. For most people, you will not be able to completely wrap your fingers around the bar, causing you to rely on your grip strength much more than you usually would. And you can use fat grips on pretty much any exercise, and this will challenge the forearms much more, which ultimately will lead to more growth. Now I utilize these on almost every arm exercise I perform, but also use it on exercises specific to forearms. Research suggests that performing specific pulling exercises with the fat grips, such as a deadlift, bent over row, upright row, and concentration curls, can significantly increase the muscular activation of the forearms. And implementing fat grips is super simple. All you do is perform your normal frequency, but just add the fat grips on. But you will likely need to lower the weight that you're performing the exercise at, so keep that in mind. And if you're interested in getting fat grips, I will leave a link in the pinned comment below on where you can go to purchase one. And that wraps up tip number one. Now let's jump into the second tip, which is to implement supination and pronation into your training routine. As we discussed earlier, many of the forearm muscles move the wrist. Supination is when you turn your palm up towards the ceiling, whereas pronation is turning your wrist to the floor. I like to integrate these movements on my arm days, as you not only work the elbow flexors, but also the forearms. Integrating normal bicep curls, hammer curls, and pronated curls will not only vary the elbow flexor that's being worked, but once again, it will vary which forearm muscles are being worked as well. And now my favorite exercise to perform both of these movements is exactly as the name suggests, it's the dumbbell supination pronation exercise. And all you need to do is grab a light weight and grab the wide part of the dumbbell rather than the handle. And this will incorporate the grip strength component as I mentioned in the first tip. You will start the exercise in a neutral grip, which is having your thumb up towards the ceiling, and then pronate as far as you're able to, and then supinate as far as you're able to. And doing both of these movements will incorporate one rep and try and perform 12 reps of three to four sets. And when done properly, this will light up your forearms. And this exercise alone will put you on the right track to skyrocketing your forearm growth. And now for the third and final tip of this video, we're gonna talk about one more exercise that you need to incorporate, which is gonna be easy bar wrist flexion curls. Wrist curls are the traditional exercise many do to work their forearms. And while this is beneficial, I believe this exercise will give you much better results. And now all you need for this exercise is an easy bar. And the reason I prefer that over the straight bar is because I feel it puts my wrist in a more natural position and it's just more comfortable overall. But ultimately you can choose whichever feels the best for you. And to perform this exercise, we're gonna hold the easy bar behind our back and have our wrists in a pronated position, which is when you have the palm of your hands pointing backwards. Then you wanna flex your wrist as much as you can and try and hold for one to two seconds each rep. And if you wanna make this exercise even more effective, you can integrate tip one into it Use fat grips and it will make it significantly more difficult, but ultimately you'll get much more out of it. As for the reps and sets of this exercise, we're going to aim to perform four sets of 12 reps. And the reason being is because our forearms are primarily slow twitch muscle fibers, meaning they are more resistant to fatigue, so we need to increase the total volume they perform. And if you implement all three of these tips that I covered in today's video, I promise you, you will see significant improvements in your forearm size. And having big forearms alone is only half the equation. You also need to have big biceps and big triceps, which is exactly what I'll discuss in this video here and I'll go over ways to help you achieve just that. 